so stressful. I didn't hear you coming at all, man. So I, both of them I got both of them, yeah. Jeez, and you were right there. Yeah. Woo! That means I got seven, seven tags. <laughs> This is our sneak peek of the Sweetheart Storm FB1. Designed by Fine Foam Work Adelaide. It is the Sweetheart Storm FB1 2.0 Plus version they sent us here. This is the only one in the United States, one of the only ones in the world. They sent us the last one they had, but this is, as far as I'm aware, the retail model. It'll come with two barrels, um, and you can take off this longer shroud. So you have the longer, higher power barrel and the shorter uh, barrel for the lower power. There are a couple of changes that they've already made in the 2.0 Plus recently that was not on the previous model, such as the Delrin ball that you used to have to replace after a couple of shots. They changed it and you no longer have to replace that. So it's very easy to maintain and it's very reliable. It has a semi and a full auto feature. It is 3DS LiPo powered with the battery in the stock. It's got plenty of room for uh, any size battery you may have. The closest thing to it, it is an AEB like the Challenger or the Wasp or the Edge. They all have a similar function, um, but I think the Storm is the most reliable out of all of them and a little bit easier to use as well. The Challenger to empty your last round, you'd have to disconnect it, hold down the trigger for a while, and then eject your last round. And this one, you just turn it off and fire. Um, the Wasp is kind of like a more of an MP40 feel. Um, which is cool because it looks cool, but less practical. Um, and the performance on all of the AEBs to, to date um, are is pretty pretty you know average for what you'd expect to get. The closest thing to the Sweetheart Storm, as Bradley Phillips has said, is the M79 because it has select fire, semi-auto, and full auto, and the FPS is around the same mark and the weight is is very similar. It's a little lighter than M79 though. However, this one is a you know, a sample that they sent. So these white parts are 3D printed. They are 3D printed nylon though. Um, they may change that on the full production model, but it's already pretty sturdy. It uses a Airsoft AEG style grip. So not your commercial spec like the Hummingbird or M79, but it uses an AEG spec grip. So you get a similar kind of feel to the M79. So the biggest difference is one is spring powered and lipo actuated and the other one is purely air powered. So with the Sweetheart Storm, you don't have to worry about um, doing maintenance on the air system and since you don't have the expansion of the gas filling up an air chamber you get some more consistency out of this as well so real quick on the on the features here so what what is way cool is a dry fire safe feature so the magazines you just install this little magnet there and that keeps it from uh, dry firing kind of like the edge or the quick the edge has a mag type slide lock and the QWK does indeed have the magnet lock like the Sweetheart Storm. So you'd put a magazine in, put it to the you know, semi-auto position or the middle position. It chambers around and you're ready to go. Then you can have full auto. and that's pretty good rate of fire. This is a 3S battery. You can use a 4S battery if you have one, but 3S works just fine. And then when you're out of darts in your magazine, the bolt will, well the trigger will disengage and there is now one round in the chamber and my magazine is empty. So then I can put a new magazine in and keep firing with one in the chamber. So you basically always have one in the chamber, like the Challenger. Um, except for when I have one round in the chamber and I want to stop using the blaster, I just turn it off and fire that one round out and I'm good to go. And you can check the prime state by looking at the side window here. If the ball is in the back position or I guess if this, uh, this part here, if there is you know, the prime indicator there. So if the prime indicator is in the back, that means you're primed and you're ready to fire. If it's forward, that means you're dry and you're ready to go. That is as simple as it is. So you just turn it on, chambers around, fire. The one issue with this and a lot of cycling systems like it is you can short stroke it. So if you pull the trigger on semi-auto too fast, you'll kind of fire one dart and not another. So you kind of have to get a good rhythm to it. Um, but the semi-auto is a pretty good rate of fire as you saw earlier. And the full auto is always there if you need it. As far as performance goes, this is straight out of the box. Of course, this is the longest barrel they sent. And we've got a combination of, these are all used worker bamboo darts. Here we go.
So kind of a bad sample size there because of the darts, but we've got, uh, let me read them off real quick. 267, 295, 300, 247, 310, 303, 358. Average of 296. So uh, with new darts, you hit more like average of 320, 315 from our testing. And this is a really accurate platform. So to give you an example, we put it on full auto and we aimed and we fired and out of you know 10 shots, six shots, hit headshot, like six in a row hit headshot. So full auto, we fired a burst, and we're talking six headshots, forehead between the eyes kind of thing from 50 feet away. So this is 300 FPS, and it is very exciting. Really excited to use this in events, high FPS events, of course. Um, we'll have to see how low we can take it to see if it's still viable for those 200 FPS tournaments. But here, um, when we play our high FPS no limit games, 300 full auto, it's very, very exciting. And I accidentally just dry fired it. So easy to uh, plug the barrel and fire. Um, if you had a B car on there, that would be an issue, um, but you could just reload one. So that is one issue is you can't manually reset the bolt back though. So if you accidentally chamber an empty round, the only thing you can do is plug the barrel. So amount of ammo, got one in the chamber still, put a new mag in. You can see how it's short stroking it there with pulling trigger too fast, but here we go again, out of ammo, last dart. There you go, empty. All sorts of darts, all sorts of quality, all sorts of shape and size, mostly round. We've got a few ovals in there, that's not too bad. All right, magazine in, we'll do semi-auto. Try not to short stroke it. Going out 300. There is the Sweetheart Storm.